generative AI not only will boost the worldwide semiconductor industry growth, but also might enhance or even disrupt the whole semiconductor industry value chain. The ESMC will fully serve the Europe, uh, European country's need. Taiwan is the world champion when it comes to making computer chips. Semiconductor production accounts for around a quarter of the self-ruled island's economy. And the biggest player here is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. This makes nearly two thirds of the world's microchips. Analysts are confident TSMC will be a trillion dollar company by the end of this year. And the key to this heady growth is AI. This requires advanced semiconductor packaging and Taiwan is leading the field. TSMC is building a huge site in Southern Taiwan to strengthen its advanced packaging capabilities. And it's also looking at building advanced packaging capacity in Japan. Since the pandemic and with US-China trade tensions increasing, Semiconductor supply chain vulnerabilities are always a concern. Onshoring of key component manufacturing means Taiwan has been forced to look overseas and TSMC is expanding in the US, where the CHIPS Act aims to boost semiconductor manufacturing. Apple is reportedly on the verge of verifying its first made in America cutting edge processor chips from TSMC's plant in Arizona. In August last year, Europe started work on the European semiconductor manufacturing company's first semiconductor fab in Dresden here in Germany. Known as EMSC, it's a joint venture between TSMC, Bosch, Infineon, and NXP Semiconductors. China, which claims Taiwan, is making massive investments in chip technology to offset the impact of US restrictions on technology sales to Beijing. And Taiwan is keen to leverage its advantages in semiconductors into geopolitical strength. This is what Taiwan President Lai ching had to say. Taiwan Taiwan needs to work together with global democracies, leverage our advantage in semiconductors and AI industries to further strengthen the democratic supply chain. I spoke to Ray Yang in Taipei recently. He's an international strategy consultant at the government-sponsored Industrial Technology Research Institute. He's bullish on the outlook for Taiwan's semiconductor industry. New developments in semiconductor packaging are contributing to the quest to extend Moore's law. One promising development is advanced packaging, which can better manage the power consumption of a collection of chips while shrinking their total size. What effect will this have? Advanced packaging actually uh, will uh, go together with uh, Moore's law, okay, to bring the customers uh, the, the best solution with uh, not only the performance, but also the, the, the cost, okay? And so, so, so advanced packaging is one of the, uh, actually, uh, not just the emerging, it's happening, it's happening. And uh, 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 everybody in the industry knows, uh, if talking about specific uh, word uh, uh, related to advanced packages, COAS, it's a chip on wafer on substrate which is uh, one of the uh, uh, key uh, 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 weapons, let me put it this way, of TSMC to attract NVIDIA, AMD, uh, 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 even, uh, you know, uh, uh, Intel. <laughs> uh, the semiconductor industry uh, developed the advanced packaging to uh, uh, collaborate with a more slow to, to bring the uh, uh, utmost solution to, to, to the customer. This is one. What role is geopolitics playing in the Taiwanese semiconductor industry? Of course, the trend is a geopolitical issue, which make <laughs> the whole uh, Taiwan semiconductor industry to uh, follow our customer to be uh, risk mitigation to be diversified to uh, uh, meet their local demand. Okay, so the geopolitics uh, really uh, is again also the ha is happening. And uh, it will actually, I think it will reward the whole Taiwan semiconductor 
ecosystem. Okay, so actually this is also one of the major challenge the whole semiconductor industry of Taiwan is facing. So there's a lot of discussion how we're going to, to, to react. What will the new Donald Trump administration mean for Taiwan? We are entering the Trump 2.0, <laughs> which we think will make uh, the geopolitical issue more tense. Uh, uh, so, including, you know, potentially possible tariff increase, okay. So, all of these give us a lot of uh, new lessons, let me put it this way. But we think that those, either you can say challenge or the new lesson, actually also bring us a very, very good opportunity. What impact will generative AI have on the Taiwanese chip industry? Now everybody buying the generative AI. Generative AI not only uh, 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 will boost the worldwide semiconductor industry growth, but also generative AI might uh, enhance or even disrupt the whole semiconductor industry value chain, because uh, the generative AI actually is a very, very, uh, 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 there's a, a, a binding uh, uh, relationship uh, between generative AI and the semiconductor industry in smart manufacturing, in smart manufacturing. Also, generative AI will help the semiconductor industry to explore new materials, okay, new uh, 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 process, okay. Do you see Taiwan increasing its global focus? More investment in Europe? Yes. Uh, okay, actually, uh, this is of course uh, due to the, 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 uh, the pressure or the trend of the Geopolitics, okay, uh, which of course uh, came from the uh, uh, the automotive chips shortage, of course, okay. But I think uh, this trend uh, from the very beginning, of course, these uh, uh, give us, uh, I mean, the Taiwan semiconductor industry uh, challenge, because uh, actually in Taiwan uh, the ecosystem the supply chain of the semiconductor industry in Taiwan is so efficient. This geopolitical issue actually also brings us a very, very great opportunity. Uh, why I mean this? We are more closer to the end customer. And the end customer's need, demand, voice, spec for the future we can listen more. We sit down with a customer, for example, uh, 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 EMSC. Uh, uh, now we are very close uh, to the automotive manufacturer of Germany, BMW, Benz. Actually, no matter BMW or Benz or Volkswagen, they are also, you know, uh, uh, evaluating how generative AI can help their production. So there's a lot of uh, 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 new opportunities driven by the, I just mentioned, the trends, and uh, we can more discuss, you know, and, uh, and uh, to really meet uh, the whole uh, Europe's uh, need. Sixth generation telecommunications is a big buzzword in the tech world right now. Will 6G telecoms mean big changes? three or five years from now, there will be more and more new opportunities we can go together to address, for example, sixth generation telecommunications, which will change or disrupt the data center's uh, design, okay? So, so actually, 
the fifth generation, which now we are, you know, experienced the fifth generation. Uh, when we enter the sixth generation, supposedly after 2030, the sixth generation's network will be quite different from the sixth generation networks, which will need uh, uh, new chips uh, with uh, very, very lower power consumption and uh, also we uh, 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 need uh, uh, more and more semiconductor uh, 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 new technology, for example, okay, silicon photonics, for example. So, so and uh, Europe, you are very good in telecommunication, not only the automotive. And uh, more than that, satellite, drones, <laughs> a lot of uh, emerging needs and the application, which need uh, different kinds of chips and the new uh, uh, chips with uh, new technologies. So uh, uh, when or after the ESMC established, I believe there will be more and more opportunities to core exploration. Together, of course, not only uh, 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 German, but also surrounding countries, the Czech Republic, Poland, okay. So, so I think uh, TSMC, uh, especially the ESMC, uh, the ESMC's uh, development shall be different from the TSMC in Japan or TSMC Arizona. The ESMC will fully serve the Europe, uh, European countries need, and the European country for the next generation's uh, 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 development of the market or, or, or technologies, you are quite good in some specific uh, field area, which also can, can make us uh, to, to, to collaborate with you. China is restricted by limitations of Moore's law and US trade restrictions, how much of a lead does Taiwan have over China on high-end manufacturing processes? Actually, China, uh, they already started, actually, back to, I think, uh, five years ago, to, to try to leapfrog or, or to bypass uh, the, the semiconductor industry's uh, uh, technologies uh, development with advanced packaging because advanced packaging is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, emerging. So they are stopped by the Moore's law because of the restriction, the export control uh, by the states. So, so now they stop at uh, seven nanometer. It's very, very tough for them to, to go further to the five. I think they will stop at the seven nanometer. So this is uh, related to Moore's law. Generative AI, which creates new content based on patterns in data, is growing exponentially. How will Taiwan meet this growing demand? GAI, generative AI, will be another key. GAI, not only to boost the semiconductor growth to, to, to match the, the GAI's uh, so, so, so demand, but GAI will also, as I mentioned, disrupt the future semiconductor value chain. Uh, regarding this, from my point of view and according to my all of the study, the American still are taking the lead in generative AI, open AI, Microsoft, Google, okay, Meta. So, so I think, and uh, also I believe, I also advocate uh, several times, uh, the Taiwan, the whole Taiwan semiconductor industry, we shall collaborate closely with Americans, not only the, the, the corporation, but also research institute, the academics, to try to bring their innovative GAI solution to make uh, the future semiconductor industry, the uh, whole uh, supply chain, 
to be more efficient. Okay, to 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 serve more and more, you know, the the customers' needs. Okay, so in this regard, China will face challenge because their generative AI development is far lag like behind. Okay, so even though they uh, they are looking for some ways of a leapfrog. <laughs> But they face uh, another challenge of the new emerging technology, which is uh, generative AI. So we will see. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think uh, in the long run, decoupling uh, shall be the, another major trend. OK, decoupling of the semiconductor industry, while it's uh, led by the states. Another is uh, led by themselves, China. <laughs> okay, so the China, I think, uh, 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 when the uh, decoupling arena, you know, uh, when we experience the decoupling of the the decoupling arena of the semiconductor industry, China's uh, 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 local semiconductor industry development will be more and more focused on the local demand. Marco Rubio is tipped to be U.S. Secretary of State. What does that mean for Taiwan? Actually, as I mentioned, uh, Rubio, uh, 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 I, I foresee, uh, it, uh, he will uh, speed up the decoupling okay, of the, 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 the semiconductor industry. Not only the, but even the technology. Oh yeah, okay. In variety of uh, of industry, you know, of the technology field, so it will speed up uh, uh, the the decoupling, and uh, so it will make he, of course, and the 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 team of Trump. I believe it will make uh, uh, the two countries, the States and Taiwan, to to have a more and more collaboration uh, uh, in the uh, new, you know, technology uh, for the future semiconductor industries uh, uh, reorganization, uh, the, the new supply chain, the new value chain. So uh, I think not only uh, between Taiwan and the States, I think uh, the Americans also and uh, Rubio uh, also will uh, uh, bring more their trusted <laughs> allies, okay, <laughs> to go together with them. Maybe one is Japan or India. Let, let's see. But uh, between the states and Taiwan, I really are very, very optimistic about our future relationship.